Okay, good evening all. Uh, in this session, I am going to give a small demo session uh, regarding the SQL SQL. Uh, SQL. Uh, let's see the demo. But before going to the demo, let's see the syllabus what I'm going to teach you. I'm sharing my screen. Let me know whether you are able to see my screen and audio or not. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we'll see your screen. Okay. All are able to see my screen and audio also, right? Right? Let me confirm. Yes, yes. Okay, then back. Uh, uh, in the today's session, we are going to see a small uh, uh, demo session regarding the SQL. And before going to the session, uh, first I have to introduce uh, who am I, right? So without knowing me, uh, how can you listen the class, right? So you have to listen the who am I. Uh, I'm in a data administrator, works on the different SQL languages. And second one is who can take this course? Because uh, all, almost all the people have the doubt, uh, uh, may I eligible for SQL? If I learn the SQL, may I get the job? Everyone have the doubt, right? So to clear that uh, doubt, I have kept this uh, slide here. Who can take this course? Beginners, those who completed their graduation or post-graduation, anyone can take this uh, SQL course. And second one is students who have gap due to their backlog, right? After the completion of VTech, almost um, every student, uh, almost 80% of students are having at least one backlog, right? Due to that, they are not able to uh, get the job. So after clearing the backlog, uh, you people may, be, may have one year or six months or two years gap. So after that, if you want to try for jobs, then also the SQL is a very good opportunity. And next one is non-IT background employees. The, uh, the employees, those who are from non-IT like uh, salespersons and BPOs in there, like that, those who are from non-IT background, they are uh, if they want to uh, switch into the technical part, then SQL is very good opportunity. And next one is students, those who want to enter into the IT industry. For example, this is the 2020 batch pass outs are there from whether it might be degree or else BTEC. After the completion of their degree or BTEC, they want to switch, uh, they want to move on to the IT industry. So how they can do, how do we, they can go? We are having a lot of technologies and a lot of languages in the IT industry. It might be Java, Python, or else coming to the testing part, we are having Selenium, manual testing, automation testing, like that. In database, we are having uh, SQL, right? So based on the technology and based on your interest, uh, you have to take the course. And uh, these four people scan eligible for this course. Almost all you people are covered from these uh, four uh, points, right? And you also have one doubt. Uh, actually, uh, you uh, few people are uh, fear about the coding. I don't know coding. May I survive it in the IT industry? Right, but SQL, uh, no coding knowledge is required, but everything uh, uh, you are learning from the SQL is simply tables and all the columns, uh, it's in the form of like tables and columns. And there is small, small queries will be there, but that uh, coding is not much needed, but it will be understandable even if you don't know uh, coding uh, alphabets at least, okay? I hope you clear what I'm telling, right? And next one is, uh, this is the today objectives, what we are going to learn in the demo session. But before going to the de demo session, I would like to uh, show the syllabus what you are going to learn uh, if you are confirmed or if you are enrolled in the course, okay. And, sorry, yes. You are seeing the uh, syllabus screen, right? Which I'm sharing. Did you guys yes. confirm by that uh, I will get whether you are seeing or not. Okay. So this yes, is the yes, syllabus yes. of SQL Priming. Uh, initially, we can see the software and its installation steps. Actually, for the uh, SQLs, we are having some softwares. We need to run the SQL queries to extract the information or else to insert the information into the tables, right? So for that purpose, we need some softwares. Uh, initially, we started in the step of Oracle XC, our database software and SQL developer software. 
okay and i will uh, tell you how to install uh, all the steps will be mentioned in the video for us i will uh, tell in the class by practically you can install besides my tutor okay and next one is introduction to oracle database we are having set of databases oracle database is there and this is there we are different different databases but the mainly it industry is currently looking on the oracle database so we are going to see the oracle database also okay in that oracle database we can see uh, data and its importance what is the importance of the data and uh, what is the usage of the database and uh, what are the dbms types we are having relational database and uh, we are hybrid and we are have different types what are those types and what it means and next one is discuss the basic design theoretical and the physical aspects of the re relational database okay and next one is data based engine architecture it is very important if you are uh, going to uh, move on to the next developer or any data administration it will be very important and what are the roles and responsibilities uh, uh, designation in the real time project for example after the completion of course if you uh, fortunately you are selected into the any company okay then what are the roles and responsibilities in the real project real time project and that will be explained and later on we are coming to the interesting interesting part introduction to the sql okay what is the sql why we are using and the, what is the history of sql what are the sql command types we are having the five types five language types in sql that's what we discussed in the demo session today and uh, uh, all these things will be explained and what are the uses of ddl uh, statements to create and manage table ddl is nothing but data definition language right so we are how to create how to alter how to drop in how to truncate how to rename the table how to describe that comment to display the table structure everything is explained theoretically and practically okay both will be explained in the course and next one is sql constraints we are having some constraints while creating sorry while creating uh, tables we are having some constraints like uh, what is mean by constraint can anyone tell in generic manner is nothing but some conditions okay we can discuss in the class once the classes is started the classes will be started from uh, next week so next week saturday at the end of the demonstration i will tell the timings also what are the timings uh, we fix it for classes from next next weekend okay and next one is dm uh, data manipulation statements data control language statements and backup table how to backup the tables for example we are uh, losing data sometimes right for example we are having whatsapp if you want to move on to uh, the same account to the other mobile you should have backup right like that if anyone um, uh, missed any data you should backup the table if you uh, uh, what what you need to do to backup the table you should backup before Cre uh, after creating the table you should backup the table if there is any issue in future we can backup uh, we can retrieve and we can uh, we retrieve the data from the table okay and how to retrieve the data from sql select statement theoretical and practical will be explained and how to restrict and sort data and next one is sql functions we are having set of functions in the sql ro row level functions and group level function and then analytical function pseudo functions and usage of case and record function and we will explain all the functions with syntax and practically and theoretically okay and the next one is aggregate data using the group function we are having some group function like grouping by having order by like that we are having some group functions for example uh, you are studying in certain college right in class uh, so many members are there but uh, few people are getting the marks more than 70 out of 10, 100 few people are getting more than uh, 40 marks out of 100 how can you aggregate the students by uh, getting the score more than 70 okay what i'm telling so you can group by or having by you can sort clear what i'm telling for example uh, 10 employees are there uh, the 10 employees having the certain role numbers let's take an example of 1 2 3 4 5 6 but these uh, employees uh, role numbers are in uh, match order how can you uh, uh, make that order in proper by using the order by okay like that we are having few grouping functions we can discuss those things also but coming to my knowledge and coming to my experience uh, the sql interviews are not much difficult but thing what you're going to know is you should uh, have good knowledge on the sql if you know all these syllabus uh, if you know if, if you know and if you practice all these syllabus properly 
you can easily crack the interviews almost all the questions will come from the this syllabus only simply they will ask what are the sql functions what are the sql languages what is mean by group by what is mean by order by like that they will ask the questions but if you uh, somewhat 30 or 40 percent good at practical and 60 percent are good at theoretical simply you can crack whether you are going through fake experience or else whether you are, you are coming from non-IT to IT or you are coming from as a fresher. For freshers, it's very good opportunity. If you want to in as a SQL, there is a good, 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 good growth. It means not uh, good for a fake experience or for some gap, gap experience students. Okay. So what I'm telling is uh, now you are learning, right? The people who are having experience but if you uh, are willing to uh, learn this sql from the uh, starting career onwards then it will be uh, more knowledge you are getting right that's what i'm telling okay whoever taking the sql there is a very good opportunity because because why uh, the sql have much a uh, boom in the market because nowadays people are growing uh, we, uh, population is growing the data is also growing like for example aeroplane is there aeroplane is uh, uh, traveling right so aeroplane is going on the air how how it is going almost 10 billions of data is transferring from here to satellite that's what how the uh, aircrafts are moving right that's what how importance of data is there right we are having uh, other technology big data also so data is very important the technologies which is uh, under the data which uh, includes the data concept that have more priority and more salaries also okay even if you start your career as a fresher you will get almost four lakhs or five lakhs per annum but if you have good enough experience like four years or three years simply you will get 10 lakhs or 1 lakhs so it's very easy to crack the spl so if you are really eagerly waiting for to learn this course please concentrate on the course at the end of the course it will be very easy to crack the interviews okay and we are seeing some uh, sub queries to solve the queries and what are the types of queries and uh, schema objects we are having some schema object and sql joins these are very important if you are starting your career as a fresher even whatever technology it is whether you are looking for uh, automation testing or you are looking for any development now SQL is included in all the technologies. That's what the importance of SQL is there. That's what I'm telling. Okay. In any technology, now the SQL is including. For example, let's take it the automation testing. In automation testing also, they are including the SQL. Because we are having some database testing, right? For that, they are using the SQL. But in that, the uh, damn sure question you can mark as star, 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 star. The types of joins. What are joins? What is meant by join? Why we are using join? These type of questions will get from the SQL joins. It's very important. Even if you are joining in this course or not, wherever you join, you should mark this as a star. It is a question you will get from your interview if you are applying for any SQL of jobs. Okay. And manage objects with data dictionary views. This will be explained. And SQL query performance tuning and the basics of advanced concepts okay these concepts are comes under plsql we are having uh hpl plsql mysql these things will be explained in the further classes and apart from this course what are the benefits uh are mentioned here 20 hours of live classes is nothing but every week we you are having four four hours of classes saturday two hours sunday two hours by that every week you are getting the four hours right by five weeks you will complete your course how easy it is and how early it is let's think of it total five weeks four hours five hours 20 20 hours your classes will be completed and later we will cover the real-time scenarios as i said that how what are your roles and responsibilities in real-time project right so and this institute will provide lifetime session recording sessions and all these things and later on uh, we will discuss some interview tips how they are asking asking the question just now i i, I have a few questions from the syllabus right let's think of it how many questions you will get from my classes within syllabus only you will getting three to four questions but how uh, how many questions you are getting from the syllabus you can think of it and we'll provide some sample resumes right this is about the syllabus clear about the syllabus any doubt on the syllabus
any doubt on the syllabus if you guys have any doubt let me know if you don't have any doubt then we can uh, move on with the today topics okay okay many you are very good no one have doubt okay and these are the topics we are going to see today introduction about myself and what is sql and what are the sql languages and why we are using sql and sql developer roles and responsibilities and course timings what are the course timings we are having for this course okay these are the six topics we are going to see today okay first one is introduction about myself as i said that myself ramu having seven plus years of experience in database with five years of training experience okay and the next one is what is sql if anyone ask you what is meant by sql don't say that sql is structured query language that is the abbreviation okay if anyone ask what is meant by sql sql uh, you need to answer that uh, you can tell that uh, sql is the type of language that allows the database users to read modify and delete in the database system that is called database clear what i'm telling sorry one minute okay here what is meant by sql sql is a type of language that allows database users to read modify delete and store data in the database system in easy way how can you remember this point okay here uh, sql is a term which is used for database users right so how can you remember this point sql is a language this language is allow, allow, allowing the database users to do the changes whatever changes it is you can remember what might be changes either read delete modify store right that uh, in that way you can remember okay here what is mean by sql sql is a language which allows database user to do changes in the database system that is called sql that's what simple you can uh, tell the answer to the interviewer at the time of interview okay clear and the next one is uh, what are sql languages there are five types of sql languages are there uh, they are data definition language data manipulation language data control language transaction control language data query language okay for example let's take an example of data query language for example uh, you got some courier from your family friends or else uh, your colleagues whatever it is you are going to the courier office and the courier person will ask some details who you are at that time uh, they will take some query from you and they will uh, collect the data they will check the data and the data present in the database are matched or not then only they will uh, give the delivery courier delivery to you otherwise they will not give delivery to you that is data query language transactions you can see it transactions mainly used for the banking right like that we are having the different types of ddl dml dcl tcl dql these are the five types of languages here you can see this diagram total sql comments are languages both are same total five types are there first one is data definition language data control language data manipulation language transaction control language data query language these are the five types we are having in the ddl we are having these four operations create drop alter and truncate okay what is mean by create create is nothing but to create the table as i said that uh, database in the form of tables rows and columns right so uh, to create that to uh, to do some operations on the on that table we are using structured query language sql okay here create is used to create the table drop is used to delete the table alter is uh, used to alter the table what is mean by alter sometimes uh, we are doing alterations for your for our class right so alteration is nothing but by changing the table for example first we are having only four columns after that you want to make the table into the five column it's nothing but you are changing previous position to this updated position that is called alter truncate is nothing but previously you are having five columns right but you want to make that five columns table to four column that at the time you are using that truncate clear 
and the dcl is nothing but grant and revoke this is the permission at the time of joining in the office they will give some permissions to access office application right that is called granted uh, while leaving after uh, leaving the company they will revoke your permissions right as you are out of the office that's why they are revoking the permission these are called permissions related and insert update delete is nothing but tables are ready in tables rows and columns are ready you need to fill the data right so insert is used to insert the data delete is used to delete the data then what is the difference between drop and delete can anyone tell what is the difference between drop and delete what is the difference between drop and delete i have two people are there can anyone tell what is the difference between drop and delete a yeah, drop is nothing but drop is used to delete the table delete is nothing but it is used to delete the data in the table that is the difference between drop and delete clear clear what i am telling in dml we are having insert update delete insert is nothing but to insert the data into table update is nothing but to update the data into table delete is nothing but to delete the data from the table that is called insert update delete tcl is nothing but commit rollback save point okay commit is nothing but uh, you transfer some money to other person how it is going mediator person is there bank person is there but we don't know simply we are doing gpay and that person is uh, moving to the destination account how it is going by uh, mediator there is a uh, uh, some uh, um, person is there in person or out person person is there from the google company and they will give the permissions commit sometimes you are failing uh, your money is detected right but you are uh, but your amount is not credited to the destination account at that time they will roll back the transaction and save point is different scenario we can see it in further classes and dql is nothing but uh, uh, we are selecting few things for example you want to create a table for employee right so what is the data which is required for employees data employee uh, employee name employee id employee salary and there is a set of attributes right out of that you are selecting only employee name at that time we are using data query language are you clear about the sql documents sql comments sorry everyone is clear about the sql comments these are the five types sql comments and sql languages both are same and the next concept is why we use sql okay these are the uh, these are the points which tells the importance of the sql it helps user to access data in the rdbms system and it helps you to describe the data and it allows you to define the data in a database and manipulate data and with the help of i think you may uh, have doubt that what is meant by rdbms okay this is the type of database we are having the uh, so many types of database systems we'll explain in the further classes and it helps to describe the data how, how, what is data how it looks like data is nothing but now i am speaking with you you are asking the doubts me both are data right how to describe the data by using the tables right i am asking the question that is the row you are telling the answer that is the column right like that we can describe the data and it help it help, it allows you to define the data in the database and manipulate that specific data uh, okay now description uh, describing the data is done later what you need to do manipulate is nothing but uh, alteration or inserting updating deleting that is called manipulating dml document uh, sorry dml comments and with the help of sql comments in the dbms you can create and drop databases and tables okay create is nothing but creating the tables drop is nothing but deleting the tables delete is nothing but deleting the data from tables that is the difference between drop and delete if you are going for any interviews this is the one of the important question what is the difference between drop and delete in sql mostly most of the students are filtered in this question only okay keep this point in your mind and next one is sql offers you to use the function in your database create a view and stored procedures these are pl sql will explain in the further 
and uh, you can set permissions on tables procedures and view okay as i said that once you are into the office they will give some permissions right that's related info that is and the next one is what are the roles and responsibilities if what fortunately you are selected what is your roles first you have to designing the data tables and structures and creating views functions and stored procedures and optimize the queries to integrate the application and create the database triggers we are having the triggers and maintaining data quality and overseeing the database security these are the major roles we are having few more but these are the mostly uh, your uh, roles and responsibilities in any company if you are in as a sql developer okay the all these are the almost all objectives are done introduction myself what is sql what are sql languages why we are using sql and roles and responsibilities and last one is course timings what are the course timings and the class timings as i said that 20 hours will be there every weekend i will take four hours of classes like saturday 7 pm to 9 pm sunday 7 pm to 9 pm total four hours i have i will take okay uh, within five weeks course will be completed i think if i start in the august first week then our course will be completed by september first week okay i hope all are clear right if you have any doubt you can ask me now